What's going on, guys? Kevin Sampson of PictureLockShow.com. And I gotta say, Transformers Age of Extinction is like that ex that for some reason you keep going back to thinking, oh, maybe she's changed. And that's, that's why you come to me. I'm that good friend that says, snap out of it. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to waste your time like the film did mine, okay? It's two hours and 37 minutes of a story and a plot that is stretched out like taffy. Where it's so thin that it's almost breaking. It just goes a few more minutes, but it's, it's there. The Autobots are now hiding on Earth. Uh, from the CIA, and the CIA is being led by Harold uh, Attinger, uh, who is uh, played by Kelsey Grammer. And so, uh, of course, Attinger has teamed up with one of the Decepticons called Lockdown, and they're hunting after Autobots and killing them. And so once uh, inventor Cade Yeager, uh, played by Mark Wahlberg, uh, finds this truck, he takes it back to his barn, he hooks it up, finds out that, hey, this is Optimus Prime. With Optimus back online, this puts the CIA and all of its goons um, targets on the Jaeger family. So the rest of the film becomes um, Mark Wahlberg and Optimus Prime trying to stay under the radar, um, but figure out what's going on with the CIA, why they're coming after Autobots, after the Autobots are the good guys. They've been fighting alongside humans. Um, and so that's that's the movie in a nutshell. Um, mm. What's good about the film? Okay, uh, so Michael Bay, no doubt he is one of our greatest visual directors. Um, the moments that he can capture uh, visually in all, in all of his films, there's always that moment when you're just like, wow that's gorgeous or that hero shot that he does where it's like you know spinning around the bottom in slow motion as somebody rises up it's just pretty incredible um and so for transformers you always know that you're gonna get those visuals the visual spectacle of it all um the explosions uh and i think that um, with Transformers 4, you're really able to see the Transformers um, and the magnitude of, you know, what they are with the landscapes in the background. So that part's cool. Um, but honestly, outside of that, uh, ah, you know, me searching for something to say about the film in many ways is kind of like the same way that I was watching the film. I was just like, On Monday, I promise you, there's it's not going to be like talk around uh, the water cooler uh, or at school. No one is going to be like, yo, did you see Transformers 4? It was awesome. If anything, people are going to be like, yo, did you get ripped off by Transformers 4 just like I did? All right. So, you know, I wish I could say go check it out uh, in theaters just for the visuals, but I can't do that. Um, I say wait for it on Netflix. Listen, remember, remember, Transformers 3, they, it did this to you. You went, you saw it, and you were like, eh, it wasn't that great. And then, you know, it's been enough time, and now you're like, ooh, new shiny package. You know, maybe she's changed. No. I give it a D. <laughs> you can check out more reviews, news, and even when screening passes to movies in the DMV area at PictureLockShow.com. Give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at PictureLockShow, and don't forget to subscribe right after this, and keep it locked on film. <laughs>